Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today with a Tutorial Tuesday video. This tutorial is going to be on the fabric tape that we made yesterday on Mask Making Monday. And it's really simple to do, um, but you do need double sided tape that has the paper on one side. So let me see if I can find another double sided tape. Um, like this is double stick tape right here, but there's no paper covering one side. So if you're gonna use it right away, then you can use this kind of tape. But for the ones that I'm making, I'm making it so I can use it at a later date. Um, so that it can be stored. But if you don't have these kinds of tapes, I would definitely try it with the other kind of double stick tape. Now this one is a fairly thick roll and basically you peel it off and the underside is sticky, but it's very sticky. But then you have the paper covering the other side. And same with this red line tape. If you peel it up, you have the sticky side down here and then the clear covering, well, this is like red clear covering that's covering the other side. And once you go to use it, then of course you'll peel this side out, but then before you use it, you can go ahead and store it. So, I find this one at Hobby Lob. No, I find this one at Joann's. And I usually go when I have a 60% off coupon. So I'm filming this on President's Day. So there is a 60% off coupon today. So I will be using that 60% off to buy something like this. Now, this one, I'm lucky enough to find this at my dollar store. I don't think my dollar store is a, it's actually everything in that store is a dollar 21 and I don't think it's nationwide. It's called Dollar King. Now to make this, I usually will have a piece of fabric or trim or even ribbon. So what I like to do, because this is so thick, I like to use the edge. So I'll tear off or cut off like a length. I don't wanna bite off more than I can chew because it's kind of hard to work with the longer length, but let's go ahead and try this. I don't know why I always, and I, I use sticky scissors. So these are like my bad scissors to cut tape. Although these scissors are like, they're seriously, no matter what I put them through, they don't really, like it doesn't even get sticky. I don't know how that happens. And I think I got this at the dollar store too. All right, so I will cut off a length. <clears throat> and because this is so thick, I can get a few good uses out of it. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm gonna take off this really thin trim. It has like a little bit of webbing right there. And then it has a scallops. I'm only gonna stick it on the webbing part. So what I do is I just go for it. It's kind of, let me see, make sure I'm in, in frame. It's kind of like, you just have to do it. And it goes section by section. And this makes it 
so much. Like if you just spend a little bit of time making a bunch of these, it's so much quicker than going to the sewing machine. And especially if you don't want to see thread going over the top of it, it's just a really good alternative. So once I'm done with that, I go ahead and see this is a little bit imperfect, which doesn't really matter because once you tape it down, it's really going to not show through. All right, I love using this trim. So whenever I can, I try to make a lot of these. Now for this one, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. There's still a lot of room left and I'm gonna think about what part of the fabric I wanna use. And I like this side better. So this is going to be a little bit trickier. Let me try to zoom in. Okay. So I am going to just lay it edge to edge with the trim that is already put down. I love this fabric. It really reminds me of, it has like a very vintage vibe to me for some reason. All right, now I am going to go ahead and cut the tape. So I'm just gonna go on the edge Cut it apart. zoom out just a little bit. All right, so there's one piece right there. And these can be, I usually layer trim like this on top of other things. But there's one piece right there. And when I go to use it, let's say I wanna put it on here. I'll measure out how much I want and then I'll cut it off and just peel the backing off and stick it down. But there we go. And then for this, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the excess on the front side first. And this did have a little bit of a ripped edge. You could either finish it off straight or leave the little bit of ripped edge. And I really like this because it's a great way to use up fabric scraps and it makes an impact on the page when you use it to decorate, especially with fabric that you don't have a lot of and you're like hoarding because a little strip of this on something, it really, um, makes a statement on the page. All right, so there we have that side. I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the other side. 
Now, if you're um, if your tape is a little too thin, you don't necessarily have to fill like the fabric could go over the edge a little bit. Especially if the tape is really sticky and this tape is very sticky. All right. So there we have that strip. I really love this fabric. And what I do sometimes is I cut it in half if I want a thinner piece. Now let's go ahead and make another trim, another piece of fabric tape with this tape. Now this, I don't want a really thick um, piece of tape for this because of the scalloped edge but I do think this is a little too thin. So let's go ahead and find, let me see what I have. I have ribbon above here. So let me see what I can find to use instead. Hmm. Let's go ahead with this. I love these, um, by the spool ribbons from Joann's. I've only ever been able to find it at one Joann's, but this, this was a dollar for three yards. It's super cute. Now this ribbon is tiny bit larger than the tape, but I'm going to, I'm going to use it because it's going to work fine. All right. So again, I'm going to tear off a length or cut off a length and I think what I'm going to do for this is just lay it down. Let me zoom in. And just attempt to do this as straight and centered as possible. And as you can see, it goes super quick. So you can just spend maybe even, not even an hour, like half an hour making a bunch of these. And you'll have some really handy pieces of fabric tape to work with. So that's what we have so far. I think these are super cute. Can't wait to use them to decorate with. All right, if you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment down below. Please give me a like if you liked this project and consider subscribing to my channel so that you receive updates on when I post videos. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and work on a project using these. I'm gonna use the fabric tape that I made from Mass Making Monday, which is Monday's video, yesterday's video, um, to work on some recipe cards that I have. So look forward to that probably either Wednesday or Thursday. But thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.